let me now invite um, you know Solomon Jagwe, Solomon, um, as we try to get through to Joseph. Um, let me invite you in to make that small presentation about your new innovation, um, your, your new technology. Solomon is a filmmaker and also animator. All right, thank you so much. Uh, all protocol observed. Uh, thank you so much for all the previous presenters and how they've shared about uh, immigration and being able to live in the diaspora. Uh, one of the things that has happened, I mean, clearly is that uh, most of us as parents are at home with our children, right? With the children not having enough to do. So what the Nkosa Nancha app offers is that uh, parents can get an opportunity to teach their children our native languages. And because there is not enough to do at home, this is a great opportunity for them to dive in uh, for us as parents to interact. I have two kids, uh, a, a son and a daughter. They were born here in the diaspora and I've always wanted them to have that connection to their Ugandan roots. And one of the first things that you do by getting through the children is trying to develop a language, be able to communicate with them. And but they, the challenge is that uh, it's not easy to get children interested in a foreign language, which they didn't grow up you know, using. And so that's where the Nkosa and Nancha app comes in, is that we've made it interactive. It has, it features uh, free lessons, language lessons. We say with uh, Uganda and uh, Swahili, and we're gonna be expanding that to other Ugandan languages. So I wanted to share this, my screen on this side, so you guys can take a quick look. Um, I'll give you an example of what we have in the app. Uh, for example, we have videos, and most of you are familiar with, uh, for example, Nabuvi. The value of using animation and things that appeal to children is that you get a way to connect with them. Uh, I've received a number of uh, messages from parents sharing videos of their little ones, even a baby as, a, as old as a one year old, dancing to these tunes. And these are things we grew up with in Uganda. And it's not uh, being in the diaspora because we are so far removed from home. And sometimes because we work so late, you know, in the, uh, the jobs that we do, it's not easy for us to spend enough time with our children. But this, I think, offers a self-paced you know, tool. And we've also added video games so the kids can actually come in here and practice things like uh, matching Satu, Abidi, right? So it's kind of a fun way for them to learn Luganda. And we've also included lessons. So if they wanted to learn how to count you know, again, giving them a foundation, they can mm. go in and they actually can hear, the, they, they can see the number, they can see the word in Luganda, and they can replay, mm. and they can go to the next one. Yeah. So I encourage you, uh, any parent who is in the diaspora, even those ones who are at home, because we receive messages from parents in Uganda who are also struggling with their children learning Luganda. I mean, I went to boarding school for most of my secondary and primary school, and they beat us for speaking Luganda, which is, I think is a disservice to us as Ugandans. We have such a rich and diverse cultural heritage. I believe we should really celebrate that in this day and age. And I think being at home in quarantine and lockdown, we, it's kind of a, a blessing because now we have our children's attention. So let's take advantage of this. Uh, it's available both for iOS and Android and also available for the Amazon Fire tablet. Uh, you can visit us online at www.nkozaandnancha.com and also on our Facebook page. We are wel welcome questions, inquiries, anyone who wants to know how to download it, how to use it. And if you have suggestions of languages that you would like us to add, please reach out to us. But I think we need to promote our culture here in the US, Canada, UK, wherever you are in the diaspora and help our children learn 
effectively and in a fun way using the Nkosa and Nancha app. So thank you so much. I am overwhelmed and I've seen very many people in the chat, you know, the chat section there. Everyone's super excited about this new app. You know what? I just love it. I've fallen in love with it. It is absolutely brilliant and it's a great work of art. People are asking, you know, where, how can they get to it? And I have views here. Someone saying this is awesome. Excellent innovation. Uh, you know, and then someone's saying that, wow, this is absolutely, this app is cool. Beautiful innovation, Mr. Jagwe. I mean, my two-year-old just started dancing. This is uh, someone, Matsiko Aden Busi, was, you know, living in the chat section. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for putting up together. I, listen, I'm so impressed. I wanted to give uh, Mr. Solomon Jaguar a chance because, um, you know, I, I see some kids here in Jovo. Guys, download the app, Mr. Solomon Jaguar. It took a lot of time to create. It it's used to work clock. as a contractor at Fort Bragg in North I'd Carolina. I'd like to say something then, about the app. Yeah, please do, uh, do say something. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, we're wrapping up. This yeah, I made a comment this. before about the the the, the Nkosa and Nancha app. Okay. I actually downloaded it on my uh, Android and my nieces really, really love it. And I, I learned to sing that song of Twaja Tulimbuzi Katunjuse from the app. Oh wow. Like perfectly from the app. So kudos to the Hello, team. Mon Jagu, are you there? Because we want we want you to kind of Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you.